Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Uh, for this video, I would like to talk about how to get a star badge on your Etsy shop. I opened my Etsy shop way back in 2009 and uh, it's been expanding like crazy on Etsy. Every day there's something new. Believe it or not, every day, yes. <laughs> I tried to keep up with it and uh, it's it's going crazy. So uh, they created this, Etsy has created this star badge. Can you see it right here? Finally, this month, I got it. <laughs> it is crazy, but I got it. Okay, I'm going to talk about how you can get a star badge on your uh, Etsy shop. This is only for one month though. So this, which I uh, received, my star seller, it, it looks great, doesn't it? Oh, I am so <laughs> proud of myself. <laughs> All these years I've been trying to keep up with my uh, uh, Etsy shop and uh, finally, uh, every month I was missing with one sale, believe it or not, one sale. So at the moment I have about 125 listings and I try to post every day a, a listing. Sometimes I renew it, sometimes I add a new listing like this and uh, from so on. And you can see uh, who is trying to buy your item one available and it's in, it's in one person's cart. You can see it like that. And um, let's see, five people wants this yarn, and I only have four left, four bags left. So whoever gets it, gets it. Okay, so let's go back to the star seller. Okay, let's get rid of this notification. Okay. So I'm just going to show you how you, you can uh, get a star badge. It's not easy, just to point that out. So it says here, you are a star seller for Ma for the month of March. So this is only for one month. So what you do is see my performance. So you click on that. Okay, here we go. So uh, message response rate, 95% or more. I have 100% because I reply ASAP. As soon as I see a message, I reply, even with a smiley face. If the seller keeps on messaging me, I uh, reply. Even if they say thank you so much, I send them a, a smiling face just to reply, just to get a response, like reply ASAP to get a reply. So I reply at SEP, so that means I have a perfect score and five star ratings. Okay, let's go back. So you need to get five star ratings for the past three months. So let's check this out. Okay, so here are my reviews. These are my last reviews. On September 18th, I got five star. On the, uh, February 24th, I got five star. On uh, February 3rd, I got five star. On January 8, 28, I got five star. So th these, this is what they're counting for. Five star on January 8. And this is way back on June, so they don't even count these. They only count the last three months. So I have five stars. Thank God. <laughs> If I get a review, that's another thing, right? So usually, uh, lots of people don't leave reviews. Okay, so here it says on time shipping and tracking. Okay, my items are not are not small packages, so I have to send them by tracking. Tracking number with Canada Post, and lately I have uh, found D Y K. I call them the USA post office, so I've been shipping with them, so my uh, sellers for the USA, they receive it by four business days maximum. Uh, and um, so that's a good, and I receive a tracking number. And uh, But all these years I've been shipping with Canada Post and I've been getting tracking number. But uh, other than that, that's 100%. Okay, for the sales, you need to make a minimum of 300 as my items are 
uh, large items so uh, I don't have like five dollar ten dollar value of uh, items on my listing so my items are big and expensive um, so therefore I'm always over this minimum uh, 300 sales so here we go it says minimum six uh, I have uh, six orders at the moment this is effective March 1st though so they're counting backwards like three months from uh, so they're gonna count January, February, March, end of up till end of March. If I make 10 sales, yeah, I'm going to get another star badge for the month of uh, April. I wish I can make four more sales. You never know, right? Like I said, my I, uh, my store, uh, it's not easy to get uh, 10, uh, 10 sales in three months, especially with the COVID hitting and my sales has, has been dropped. If I get a sale, I'm lucky, but if I don't, I don't, right? But uh, I was always shy for the for, for one sale. All these months I've been checking, checking, and it was driving me nuts. Finally, I made my 10th sale and on uh, February 27th, so I was qualified for the star badge, and I shipped it to SF the next day, business day, so I got my badge. So for the month of April, I am praying that I can make four more sales, so I would be qualified for the month of April. So this is uh, renewed every month. If I get 10 sales, and I if I qualify for these as well, then I would get my uh, star badge for that next month, following next month. And it already says here, see, uh, date based on current review period, January 1st to March 31st, 2022. And next chance to qualify is April 1st. So the deadline would be the last day. And I'm praying to God that I could make four more sales. Yeah, so let's go back to my shop. So um, other than that, uh, I do... Uh, do a private sale so that's another thing it's not Etsy related like local I make local sales I make private sales and so on so um, these are my items I do sell my leftover yarn so I do have yarn here uh, yarn selection what am I gonna do with them right I have so much yarn so like I, I don't know I have almost like a I don't know I have so many of this yarn so that's why I'm selling them and uh, the, this yarn is specially for Canadians who live in Canada and can't buy this yarn so I'm selling them this as well and I'm selling my leftover over merino wool that I have uh, uh, purchased from uh, Ur Uruguanda from South America and this this is my leftover super soft merino wool and uh, I have 15 hanks, so I'm selling that. I have this cone that I had uh, left over for a, a cardigan that I have knit, and I'm selling these uh, flower looms. Uh, these are really hard to find because they don't make them anymore. So I'm selling this, and I'm selling this. This was from my baby booties. Uh, this yarn is discontinued. So I sell yarn as well, and I might add more. I don't know. I don't... Uh, and I also, uh, these are my crocheted blankets. Here they are. As you can see, the prices are not cheap. Well, they're all handmade and supplies are expensive. So I'm not going to sell items less than, uh, I don't know, what I pay for, right? So let's check the lowest price. So uh, let's go back to all. If you want to buy something from my shop, what you can do, and you don't want to pay so much money, here, uh, I, I do have a pattern. This is the only pattern that I have wrote over a decade ago. And I sold a couple of these. Not even 10. People always ask me for pattern. Here is a pattern if you want a pattern. And here is the flower loom. And here are my slippers. Like I don't uh, charge so much money, so it's affordable. Here are my uh, wool socks. So they're like 20 Canadian dollars, so they're not expensive if you look into it. Yeah, so these are my cheapest, and it goes my lowest price, and it goes all the way uh, all the way up. I do sell vintage as well. Well, vintage, this is a, I had so many 
ceramic pitchers you couldn't believe it i kept on buying 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 in the 2000 1990s and um especially when we bought our house to decorate and these are never been used so i do sell them i do have vintage and i am selling my sweaters that i have uh, bought over 20 years ago i wore them only a couple of times and i got pregnant and course they didn't fit me so uh, I'm gonna add list some more and I did sell a couple of my sweaters and uh, they're in good condition and I will add more yeah and I do sell my crocheted items here are my crocheted items so on and I try to ship them ASAP if I sell these I sh I package them and boom they're gone <laughs> Yeah, they're boom, they're gone. I have toddler items, so I have to add more. But the prices are decent. Like, this is a whole set. Yarn shopping policies. Supplies. Yarn shopping. Yeah. Scarves. Here are my scarves. Another thing, I uh, knit and crochet for the homeless. So if I don't sell some of my scarves, like this one, I'm going to add to the homeless. So I will, after this expires, if it doesn't sell, that's what I do. I uh, donate them. This is wool. I'm not going to donate this. This is cashmere. I cannot donate this because these are expensive and uh, I paid a fortune. So uh, some, I'm, I'm going to donate this one as well. It hasn't sold. If it sells, it sells. Other than that, I am not going to donate this. This is one of a kind. This is my, one of my art that I have did. I also did a tutorial. And I also, uh, I, ha I am also selling the flower loom. So I am not going to donate this shawl. When it sells, it sells. Here are two of my shawls that I did tutorials. And uh, I put them on sale and it hasn't sold their decent price. And here's another uh, stole that shawl that I have uh, knit. Here's the pattern that I am selling. So uh, I do have a pattern for this and I am also selling the shawl as well. Here's another shawl. Here's a, a fabric wool blend shawl stole that I have uh, did embroidery on with my own hands. So that one's on sale. It's silk blend silk with a wool blend it's gorgeous if it doesn't sell i will keep it for myself so other than that these are all brand new just my vintage these are hardly been worn as you can see they look perfect yeah and uh i have hats and uh i have hats i have sweaters these are all ready to go. These are all finished items except this one. This one is made to order. These are all ready to go. As soon as it's paid, I ship it the next day. And here are my bridal shrugs. Oh, I don't know why this is here. This needs to go to uh, this section. I'll just change that. But the, this is made, made to order. This is ready to ship, 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 made to order. Some of them are made to order because uh, I don't uh, work on uh, sizes because I don't know what size the customer is going to buy. So I only uh, do custom orders, uh, made to order when I receive a custom order. But this is ready to ship. It's a plus size. This is made to order. This is ready to ship. I wanted to test the yarn. It's Angora Blend yarn. I believe 60%. But it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And uh, this is made to order. This is ready to ship. This is made to order. This is made to order. So uh, if you want to uh, custom order your uh, sh bridal shrugs, you just pay it. And then I knit it, depending on the size, 5 to 10 business days. And then I mail it. Okay, let's go in here. So uh, let's say my one of my listings expired at midnight. My local time, what I do is I come here at 12 and I, re, uh, I 
look at my expires items, right? Check, and I check um, what what has the highest visits. So this was expired fifteenth on February fifteenth. This was expired February fourteenth. It has hundred and fourteen. So look at my hats, hundred and ten, and I look at the date and I check. Here's the vintage one. I might keep this one because I ha I did two uh, I did one renewal, so it was four months, and then I added another. I did it a renewal, so it was on for eight months, and it didn't sell. And this is crystal, and I might keep this. I don't know. Sometimes I think about it because it's a decent price, and it hasn't sold. Right, that's another thing. So I check here. Here's a wonderful, beautiful, one hundred percent Angora rabbit hat that I have knit and uh, there's 93 so I look at the listings and I see and I look at them this was expired 14 this was expired 15 so this one looks like it had the most views right so I'm going to renew this and I'll renew it with you you and you can see so I check I, I didn't add a video on this uh yeah there's a multiple of, of slippers of this I I uh, I knit these slippers when I was in Penticton, BC, because uh, I I was attending to the uh, craft craft sales, uh, and uh, I was going to a seniors' home to sell my handmade items. So they were selling crazy. I checked my spelling, as you can see, I checked my spelling, and I don't have any spelling mistakes. I have an app here, so that does it automatically. Okay, and I look, it's acrylic. I, I check again, just in case. And my shipping is with tracking. I don't ship anything without tracking, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you need to pay for the tracking because it gets lost. I, I need to get my money back, right? And then you can get your money back. So I do have one pair for $20, two pair for $30, three pairs for $40. And if you're looking for gifts, I think these would be perfect. And you would save on shipping as well. Okay, so what I do is I click on renew. I pay 20 cents for four months and I click that. Taking its time. Okay, so I go automatically. It says your listing has been updated. So I check view. I always check my listings. Okay, and I see, doesn't this look nice? Star seller! <laughs> I have 651 sales since 2009. That's not too much. I live in Canada, and uh, unfortunately, we, I don't make that many sales. If I was in America, I'm sure I would have made a lot more sales. Yeah, and then this is how much for Canadian, unfortunately, this is how much the shipping is in Canada. Okay, and you click on it. If you want one pair, the one pair will come. I link the pictures. And if I if you want two pair, you will receive the two pair. And if you want three pair, you will receive the three. Just like this. And then what you do is I click on my shop and I check. I have 126 sales listings on my shop. And I always check. Sometimes I receive reviews and it shows here as well. So these are my favorite shops that has been listing. listing. And I just made a new listing. But I just renewed them. So they're not brand new. My brand new is this one. This one. This one I made. And uh, I don't have any. I have, I'm working on a blanket. As soon as I finish that one, I will add that one as well. So I hope you like this short uh, review on how to get your star badge. I think my computer froze, but uh, yeah, that's how you can get a star badge. Uh, you just need to follow the rules, try to reply to the customer ASAP, even with a smiley face. It, uh, there are some people that would like to reply back to you. 
like they would say oh thank you very much and you would say you're welcome you would reply and then they would say great service and you would reply thank you so much just reply back no matter what they say i even get scam oops sorry i even get receive scam um scam reviews or scam messages just reply to them by saying i'm not interested and put them in the scam folder i try to reply to them um there is a mark as a spam you can uh, put that as well but try to reply to them but other than that yeah try to reply back Try to reply to your customers no matter what. Yeah. So that's how you receive the star badge by replying back, by shipping ASAP before the deadline, or um, and try to get five star ratings. If you get a low, then you won't be qualified. If you don't get one of these, you will not be qualified. Okay, here's a, a screenshot that I took just before i hit the deadline i can't remember which date what the this date was this but i had everything okay but i was missing one just one sale and i was over the 300 minimum sale i got that one but i only needed one so finally i did get that that last one sale to qualify for my uh, star badge so for the month of April, uh, I need to get four more sales so I can uh, qualify for the star badge for the month of April. So again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends. And don't, do, don't forget to hit that notification button. Don't be shy. <laughs> that helps me a lot. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified. So you guys take care and I will see you on my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.